Scott, it's been uh, two Hawaiian events since we last spoke with you. Uh, talk to me about how this week went, last night, tonight, and how the, uh, the promotion's feeling coming out of th those two events back to back. I'll tell you, I, I'm uh, so happy about the way that things unfolded. I mean, we had a great night last night with the military and the first responders, and you know, the wild card slots for the tournament have now been filled. So we'll know who's gonna enter into the tournament on June 24th. Uh, and I think we have two great candidates uh, coming in. Uh, Barzola, he's a tough, tough, he beat a tough, tough Fedor student. So I gotta take my hats off to him and uh, he's gonna fight uh, Magomed, Magomedov and then Higo will fight uh, Barz Barzola. No, no, I'm sorry. Um, um, Sabatola. Sabatola, yes. I, I, you know, when I think of that kid, he had, um, I think he had a, the quote of the night. I don't want to say what it was, but I think it went viral. Great personality, got great hair. He's, uh, he's going to be, I think he's, he's going to do uh, very well in this tournament. So, you know, he's going to fight Higo. Now we have the brackets all set, and we, we ran the first round tonight. Uh, didn't work out for Horiguchi, but, you know, makes us tough. He's a, a great grappler, and, and he did what he had to do. I thought it was very close. Um, and then the, the, the knockout by Stotts. I mean, you know, like you, you guys saw it, I saw it. It's like, you know, Juan said he wasn't hurt, but you know, I, I, I'm not sure. You know, I gotta see it again. But to me, what I, what I saw was somebody that was injured and, and, uh, and they stopped the fight. But, you know, I'll have to go back and, and check it one more time, you know. Um, and then Chris, Chris did what she did, but I gotta give my hats off to Arlene, man. That girl is tough, and she came to fight, and she could have laid down a couple of times in that fight. And uh, you know, think about this: she could have just said, "Hey, after the penalty, uh, I'm finished." But you know what? She said, "No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna fight this girl," and and she did. So uh, I, I give my hats off to her. But so many great fights, so many great events. Uh, you know, uh, in the evening, I um, I'm just happy to be here. I think our staff's happy to be here, and. And I think my staff wants to stay another week, but uh, I said, we got to go to Paris, so we're, we're heading out of here in a couple of days. Um, other than that, yeah, just, just a, lot of, a lot of good stuff. Is the plan for this to be an annual thing for Bellator? Well, it has been in the past, and uh, you know, I think we'd definitely like to continue it. You know, the one thing, I, 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 when, I, when I see the local fighters here, there's a great talent pool here. There's always been a great talent pool here in Hawaii. And um, you know, they have a great history of martial arts, like we talked about before. But, great history of MMA. You go back to, you know, Rumble on the Rock with the Penn family, go back to Super Raw with TJ and what he did here in the mid 90s. I mean, MMA didn't stop when it kind of slowed down in America. MMA didn't stop and I believe it's because the culture of Hawaii uh, loves martial arts and, uh, and, and it showed tonight. I mean, you could feel the passion and the, and the, and the energy from the crowd and it's just something, it's something someplace very special. And uh, just kind of take it chronologically, uh, we didn't speak to you after last night's main event. A lot of talk about the stoppage, whether it was early, whether it was late, should they do a rematch. Kind of what was your thoughts on that whole sequence and kind of where that title picture goes from here? You know, I'm just glad I'm not a judge. I mean, I would never want to be a referee or a judge. That's something I, those guys are professionals of what they do at the highest level. I think that we travel with the A crew when we're on the road. And, um, you know, that's something that, you know, it, it, he saw it how he saw it. And that's something you, maybe you should ask him next time you see him. And, but, you know, for me, it's, I don't mind running that fight back. I think that, uh, you know, those, those, those ladies were definitely scrapping it. And to me, I, I don't mind running that fight back. And, and believe me, I've been get, getting calls from the manager and this, but there's really nothing we could do and the fight's over. It's already done. It's like, let's move on. And so, it's, it's uh, something that, um, you know, we'll have conversations with both of them when we get back, and then we'll start planning the future for both ladies. And then tonight's main event winner, Chris Cyborg, another W. She's continuing this reign in Bellator. She kind of said she might be at the point where the boxing thing is next. Um, mm -hmm. Have you thought about it all, like what you guys do with her? Because she seems to just be, you know, I think what we all know is kind of a step ahead of these other girls. Yeah, you know what? Um, I think that uh, that's really going to be up to her. And, and, and I'll be honest with you, and we, I don't want to get into too much detail, but it's always been uh, an agreement that we had with her that she could box at any time in our contract with her. So she could, she could box, you know, you know, whether it was a year ago or eight months ago. She always had the ability to box in, in her agreement. So, you know, maybe it's something she wants to try or, you know, she wants to fight. I know she wants to fight some of the top girls in boxing. So maybe that's uh, something that uh, you know she wants to do. I'm not sure. Going back to the fighting spirit of Hawaii, someone that embodies it is Yancy Maderos. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on his performance, and is that someone that you'd like to see continue? 
fighting for Bellator. Yeah, you know what? That was a really entertaining fight, and uh, I, I think we, we would definitely like to keep Yancey on the roster, and I think we're going to keep Sanchez on the roster, too. I think both those guys, you know, want a slot and deserve them to be on uh, our fight roster. Alimale McFarlane, her second loss, her first here in the state of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. What do you think is next for her? You know, um, that's, gonna, that's something that I'm going to have to sit down and talk to her because I think she was injured in this fight early on. And, uh, you know, she, she looked a little rusty to me. And I don't know if that was the injury or, you know, she had come off, uh, you know, a surgery. And so, you know, a little bit of ring rust is what I, what I, I looked at somebody like at her, her fight as somebody that had some ring rust that wasn't fine tuned yet, you know. So maybe she came back too early and maybe we pushed her a little bit too much. I'm not sure. But um, it's really going to be up to her. And if she wants to do it again, you know, we'll definitely give her another opportunity. I think she deserves it. I mean, if you look at her record now, she's still 11 and 2 or, what you know, 12, whatever her record is. It's an amazing fight record. She's still ranked in the top five, I'm sure, even after losing this fight. Um, so... If she wants to, you know, continue to fight and, or, you know, it's, it takes some time off, it's going to be really up to what she wants to do. And every fighter waits for their moment, that dream scenario where they burst onto the scene. Sumiko Inaba, safe to say that that was her moment? Yeah, that was, that was a big fight, big win, you know. So I, I think that, uh, again, you'll see a lot of local talent here. And, and, and we, we have been here uh, signing the fighters and cultivating the fighters and bringing them to the fights in the mainland and, and keeping them busy. But I was just talking to uh, Hoyce uh, about this. I said, you know, we just need to create more opportunities for these guys and basically create have more fights. It's, we have to make sure that we're, you know, not not such a long break between some of these matches, you know, for the for the local kids. So uh, I think that we're going to maybe shift in our position on it a little bit and, and keep these guys busy. And, uh, you know, that might mean even just supporting like a local show here, you know, that might be a smaller and just keep them busy and keep them fighting. And uh, or, you know, work with other leagues and, and just keep them fighting and keep them going. And, and uh, you know, and then the big ones step up and then, you know, the ones that have success uh, will go forward and the ones that don't will, you know, probably step down at, uh, at some point. Hey, Scott, congratulations on bringing uh, Bellator back to Hawaii. You know, great two successful cards, treating the troops and then treating the fans of Hawaii. Obviously, you know, a big upset with Ili Malay McFarlane, you know, being upset by Justine Kish. Thoughts on the fight and what, what's next for the next two, uh, those two girls? Yeah, you know what? Um, I think uh, for Kish, it was a big win. And I think that uh, her definitely, she'll definitely move forward. Let's see how far she moves in the rankings. And that'll determine where she fights her next fight. For Alima, like I said, I think she has some ring rust. I think that, you know, she didn't look as sharp as I've seen her in the past. I think she, she hurt herself in the first round. Uh, and uh, she has like a pinched neck or nerve or, you know, so they're taking a look at her now. Uh, but, you know, to me, um, you know, I think she'll be back. She just, she, we just got to give her maybe a little bit of time and have her, you know, come back properly, uh, you know, when she fights next. Hi, Scott. Keelan McNamara here. Congratulations on two brilliant events here in Hawaii. Both were brilliant, it is fair to say. My first question for you, Scott, is obviously we've talked about this already with Chris Cyborg and her strong desire to go to boxing and the fact that there is a provision in her contract that allows her to do that. Mm -hmm. If there is an announcement in the near future of her doing that, would there be any consideration to an interim title in her division or is that something that's too soon to think about? Yeah, I think that depends on uh, what she wants to do. If she's looking for one fight or she's really looking to you know, fight you know, for a title that might take several fights, it might tie her up for a certain amount of time. So really those are things we haven't had a conversation with her uh, yet, but um, I thought she looked great tonight. And I think that, you know, she wanted to really box. I think she'd be very, very effective. Yep, and last question for me is, the last time I had a chance to talk to you was Bellator Dublin with Gegard Mousasi and Austin Vanderford. Brilliant event there as well, a little bit of bias, but uh, are there any plans to return to Ireland, North or South in the immediate future? Yeah, I think we've already announced the date, uh, September 23rd. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, and it's going to be uh, the semi-man event will be Benson Henderson uh, fighting Peter Quilly. And so, and then we're going to announce a big main event. Listen, we love Dublin. They are, I mean, you saw the crowd tonight. They're very passionate. Dublin, they, they're passionate, but they also sing. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it, it's some place I've never, I've never been... Uh, 
to uh, an environment like that where it's just rocking. And so we love going to Dublin and we love coming to Hawaii. But, uh, you know, these, I think those two are very comparable in the sense that they're very passionate fans. And then that's, we, we, we like going where the, where the fans are. And Dublin, someplace uh, we'll, we have gone maybe twice a year uh, before uh, COVID. Uh, and we'll continue to go twice a year. That's great. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Okay, so um, how do you think about Horiguchi's loss is going to impact Japanese Bellator market? Listen, I think that uh, Horiguchi is a very big deal in Japan, but uh, one thing I learned working in Japan is that, you know, they um, are very loyal fans. And when we come to Japan, I'm sure Horiguchi will want to fight. And, uh, you know, I think we have a lot of... Uh, uh, like a good relationship with uh, Saki Gibara, and we'll have maybe some of uh, more Japanese fighters fighting in Bellator soon. Um, and it's unfortunate, uh, but this is the fight game, and you know he didn't, it didn't work out for him tonight. But um, you know we are planning to come to Japan at some point, um, and I think Horiguchi will be a part of that. So he's not in the tournament anymore unless Patrick Mix can continue. Uh, Apache Mix can't continue because you never know with fights, some things happen. I told Horiguchi and Dan Lambert when they left, stay ready because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, but uh, in saying that, you know, I think in 19 we brought a very big card and we didn't have Horiguchi and we did quite well. And uh, this time we'll do the same in, in, uh, in, in, in December is what we're planning. So that's the game plan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Scott. Thank you guys.